Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this item. And up for grabs today we have the 1989 release of the Ecto-1A vehicle uh, by Kenner Toys. Has the original box and as you're going to see, it is still very functional but has its fair share of creases. A lot of scuffs, basically from storage wear and storing it and moving it around shelves over the years. Uh, some of the corners do have, you know, edge wear, corner wear. There is a little rip here. Uh, so not a perfect box, but still very functional box. Sadly, it has some old tape here that I did not want to remove. It's even, you could tell it's super old. It's been yellowing. Didn't want to ruin the art and stuff like that. If someone wants to get... Uh, creative and try and take it off do with do with it what you may um, has some creases everywhere a lot of scuffs uh, there's like an indent going on here the kind of indents here basically this is the top and that as time went on it kind of sank or might have had something put on top of it so uh, that's the top here is the back uh, a little bit cleaner as far as scuffs go on the back and we can see that this is the 89 version. I believe they came out with a couple of releases of this toy um, over the years. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like, except for the stickers are peeling, as you will see here in a little bit. But we're going to continue going through this box. Um, here is the other side. Both. This is the side that opens. The other side was taped shut. Um, there's a good look at it. Looks like it. Oh, that's not. I thought that was a marker. That's just showing the string. Does not include any figures, but it does include the original uh, ghost that you're trying to catch. Let's take a look at the bottom. Um, has a lot of shelf wear. We have some more corner wear. The box is a little bit bowed. Uh, so this is going to be basically the description. Pictures and video do a way better job of showing off these wonderful vintage items that has some wear. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the inside. Which I already took out the car, but I just wanted to show the inside. And it does have the original inserts. Uh, the stickers are already on. As you can see, there was three inserts. There was the Do You Believe in Ghosts, uh, I believe is a poster. It looks like it's never been used, but does have the creases. Um, oh, it's just an advertisement for the VHSs. Wish I had those. Um, and then we got like a start, then we got like a Kenner Toys hand flip that came with it which shows you all the other types of toys they're making Ooh, swamp thing wonder how those are doing these days i remember i had a few of those um yep so this is just an advertisement all the kenner toys and this is the original instructions pretty fair it does have some creases sadly it does have one area that is kind of peeled might have had some tape on it accidentally had some tape on it they went to take it off and it ripped off uh, some of the text, so that is unfortunate. Um, but it is clean. There's no stains. Um, this will tell you how everything works. The the functioning of the actual um, it goes into detail here. I actually tested this feature out, moving the tailpipe and the uh, gear and mechanisms on the car. Do work properly. Um, everything is intact. So you switch the um, exhaust to the right, hook up the go hook up whatever on the hook, and move forward. And the actual string uh, and hook will go in by itself. If you leave it to the left, it'll just stay put and it won't retract as you move. Um, so that I thought that was pretty cool. And that still functions. So these are all the inserts. In a minute, we're going to take a look at the actual uh, Ecto-1. All right, so here we are. Here's the Ecto-1 in all its 
glory and beauty. Um, it is complete. It has, I well, I'm pretty sure it's complete. It might be missing a small sticker here and there. Um, but I believe I did see every sticker on here. Uh, the sad thing about the stickers, mainly on the curving areas, is they are kind of flapping up. Some has collected dirt over the years, like this one on the bottom. Kind of the stickiness have just, you know, caught some fuzz and stuff over the years. Uh, I gave it a light cleaning. Cleaned up pretty nice. It could probably be uh, cleaned up into more detail for sure. But I'm just going to show you all the stickers. They are flapping up. I think they all are in the original spots. This is probably the worst one of the stickers here. It's flapping up really good. I don't know how a collector or somebody who would restore this would handle that. Maybe they'd re-glue it. Um, this one might have had been re-glued because there was some gunk that I did clean up, but that might have just been from the sticker itself. It, they will not stay down, um, but they all are there. That one's cool. The original Slimer one. Um, the Call Us number are in pretty good shape. This door, maybe it's bowed or warped a little bit somewhere. It just doesn't seem to fit in there super snug. Uh, but it does stay intact. It does open pretty good. Um, so that's the inside. I will show the other door here too. Um, let's look at the back. Stickers on the back are peeling up a little bit on the corner here. That's probably the biggest sticker. It looks like there's two stickers on one here. Um, this Blyson plate one's kind of peeling up a little bit too. There are some scuffs on the handle over the years from people like, you know, grabbing it and stuff. So take a good look at that. There is another nick up here from people trying, you know, trying to open it. And when it does open, it kind of flaps to the ground. So let's take a look at that. Nice and snug. Oh, there goes the ghost guy. So there's the ghost guy that comes with it. He does have a scuff as well. Oh, maybe that's just a factory um, defect there, but pretty clean. Here is the claw. I couldn't get my big hand to get on that hook there, but it can. it's supposed to go on that hook. Um, and this is still functional. Pretty tight. It makes little clicking noises to grab stuff. It does uh, come out too, if you want it to. Hard to do with one hand, but it will come out. It will retract, like I said, as it should um, in the instructions. So there's the insides. Pretty clean. Not much scuffing going on in there. Let's pop these guys back in there. And this door is, hangs on really tight. Snaps in there really tight. Um, the chair is in decent shape. Uh, the handles are not broken. I have I have seen some where the handles are broken and stuff like that. The guns are pretty tight. They will stay. I've seen some that are loose. Um, and the guns are pretty tight. They will stay there. The belt's all intact. The bad thing about the chair is I will show you in a second. Okay, back to the chair. It does get in there nice and snug. So here's the top area. It does sit in there nice and snug, but it has some damage. Uh, one of the little flaps is i don't know if it was cut if it was ripped it looks like maybe someone might have an animal might have got a hold of it at one time not sure but this little piece is i would guess call it broke or breaking at the moment but it still sits in there nice and snug it is not super close from falling off but it's just something to be aware of that there is like a tear there but it's still snit snug in the holster and it could also it's also supposed to go in there for like storage in that little slot and sit down in there so uh one of your ghostbusters you open the door and he just starts shooting like a sneak attack type deal so that is the main the probably the biggest issue besides the stickers with this uh vehicle is the chair uh bottom 
uh, being broke, but it still works. Just got to be careful with it when I do it. Uh, when I put it in, I kind of put the broken piece in there first and snug the rest in after instead of putting the good parts in there and then saving the bad part for last. So that's just a kind of a tip. Uh, last thing I guess we got to do is take some far out angles. Still moves. Very good. And let's just take a look at the bottom of the mechanisms down here because it is pretty cool the way they uh, did it. And there's the date stamp. Should say 84, but I think it is 89. We'll take a picture of that later because the camera's not cooperating. So there's the gear mechanism system, and there's the exhaust. This is the lever that you use to kind of switch how you want the mechanism to work here. This will kind of slide. Uh, very cool. Still works. Uh, bottom's pretty clean. There might be some marks and stuff like that. Any questions, please reach out. Be more than happy to take more photos, that sort of thing. Thanks for looking.